All right, guys. I just got done repairing my 2008 F-150 uh, 4.6, and what had happened is I was driving down the road towing uh, my tree service trailer, and the spark plug just shot out and totally destroyed the ignition coil. And so, um, what I did was uh, nothing. It's been sitting here in the yard for like six months, eight months. So I finally did something today. And I had this kit the whole time. It's called the Calvan kit or whatever. But uh, just so that you can check that out. And then uh, uh, pause for the instructions there. Basically, uh, pretty straightforward. They give you this little thing right here to uh, test to make sure uh, that you're not blowing metal shavings down in into the uh, valves but um, what I did was because I couldn't um, close my valve all the way and like I'm sitting here cranking and cranking flying flywheel trying to get the pistons or whatever to align to where it's all the, the pistons all the way down and the valves are all the way closed and I couldn't find it so I just said uh, whatever so I came over here and I got my little vacuum right here and my little rigged up setup, just some electrical tape or whatever, and just like a BS hose, got right down in there in that cylinder and just vacuumed all the shavings out. So that's kind of the, the quick workaround. And then after I did all that, I used my little $20 Amazon bore scope thing here that's got like a light on it and all that stuff. And it just like, you know, you know, boop, stick it into the phone. I'm sitting here like looking at my phone just like this and like sticking down there and I can see that there's no more shavings in there. And then I got the little, you know, the little wand right there and then I blew out the cylinder, got all the stuff out of there, put it back together. Um, basically just uh, use this guy right here and uh, can't really see it because they're installed, but you kind of want to put it like this. So this flat part is, is along the flat line here. It locks in place, you stick that down into the cylinder and then you stick the drill bit into the guide, make sure that you have the pin. And you stick the thing and then I just uh, hooked up my, you know, my little impact. And just wah, wah, just the right socket size, well I don't know, whatever this is, 9 16 or something, I don't know. And uh, just drilled it out and then what I did was, I did the tap and die. Uh, it's too big for the guy, but you just literally you just stick it down in there, you know, and then with your ratchet, just kind of just feel where it starts to just kind of bite the hole, you know, and then just kind of real easy back off and just keep going and back off and just, you know, I went I went all the way down and then kind of brought it back out and then uh, shot it with more oil and I cleaned the shavings off like as I went and I just kind of like, whoa, 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 whoa took it out and then just clean the shavings off. So there was less shavings, but there was still a lot in there. Um, anyway, so uh, you, you uh, with the guy I saw on a video said, and I didn't deal with any problems, was he said, don't do it all the way to where it goes down and then it falls down into the thing, which is why you have this little C clip right here. But he said, it's if you go down all the way, it's really hard to bring it back up and then guide it and then thread it back out when it's wanting to just keep falling back in. So he said that that was a, that was a really big trouble for him because you can't really pull it out because it's already down so far. It's almost into the cylinder, uh, so you can't get a tool in there and it's just wanting to fall out. So best thing to do is you can actually feel it with your hand once it goes down and it's pretty much made the hole and it's just like those last three threads right before it kind of just threads through and pops through just kind of back off and then just do it again just make sure you're like all right okay that's really loose it's at the end basically and then just back it out and then you uh put your insert in and uh you just get this little insert and then it seats onto the rim so that's the good feature about this one it doesn't need a locking screw or anything special it just seats down on there and you get some of this uh thread locker stuff um, I just watched a whole bunch of videos. Dude said that was the best, whatever. Uh, red, red thread locker, and then you just put the spark plug in there, and then just, just thread it down into the hole and just tighten it to where you feel like that's it, you know? And that's it. Car works. Just drove it down the road and back. So now I'm gonna change the oil. So if you have a spark plug that shoots out from the top, or you strip them, cause it's, that, I mean, there's another one on here that's stripped. I know of, but it hasn't shot out yet. So once I go through it once again here, I'm, I'm gonna 
change out my plastic manifold here. I just want to make sure everything works before I change it out. I'm leaking coolant. Um, and uh, I've pretty much done everything I can. But the, uh, like, it's hard to see. But right there, where I had a lot of leakage there, and so I got some red RTV up in that joint. But here on the bottom, you see it's, it's this sandwich metal plastic in the middle and then metal on the bottom and that's what cracks and so that's why uh even though i'm sealed up top here and and the uh the coolant's not going around the front side of the engine it must be cracked and then working its way back and it's going out to, to the back and it's going over the transmission it looks like uh transmission fluid or whatever but it's coolant coming out so uh